Around the world, the rush is on right now to develop treatments for people with COVID-19. Here at home in Hamilton, one potential treatment is now being tested on more than 1,500 people. Dr. Richard Whitlock is co-leading the trial. He joins us here at Your Morning Now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lindsay. So walk us through how this works. So the ACT trial is two parallel trials uh, in which we are testing the therapies of azithromycin and chloroquine in the outpatient trial and azithromycin chloroquine and interferon beta in the inpatient trial. And what we're seeking to do is to reduce the progression of COVID-19 to severe disease. So we're hoping in the outpatients, they won't need to be admitted to hospital if they receive therapy. In the inpatients, we're hoping to prove that this treatment leads to a reduced progression for the need of mechanical ventilation or for death. So this is a, a large trial. Uh, I work at the Population Health Research Institute, and we're an institute that really has a network in over 100 countries. Uh, we're used to running very large trials and pro uh, producing robust evidence for therapies. It's also an adaptive platform so that as emerging therapies come out that are promising, uh, we will integrate that into this those into this platform and test them to see if they also may reduce the progression of this disease. How long is it going to take for you to figure out if this is working or not? Uh, so again, this program is, is international. So thankfully in Ontario, we have seen a flattening of the curve. Um, the uh, wave that we were projecting was coming at us uh, has greatly diminished, which is fantastic. The social distance, distancing seems to be working. Uh, we are in other countries where the wave is much greater. Uh, we are expecting to have results uh, in two to three months for this trial. Uh, we, are, we have a data safety monitoring committee who is a very experienced scientific committee who will monitor the trial looking at the data every 50 patients. And that data is both clinical data as to whether the patients are being admitted or whether they're going on to the breathing machine, as well as tr what we call translational or basic science outcomes for, for chloroquine, uh, hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, whether the viral load that patients are carrying is being reduced. And for other therapies that we're testing, such as interferon beta and other therapies we're planning to integrate, such as colchicine, an anti-inflammatory, or steroids, an anti-inflammatory, we're going to see and reassure ourselves that the impact on the inflammation that parents, uh, patients are, experiences, are experiencing are, is reduced. Well, Dr. Richard Whitlock, we appreciate your time. We wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Great. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.